Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist and author of many books on drawing cartoons. And today, I'd like to show you a very simple way to draw a bear cartoon. I love drawing bears. I've, I've, ha I've done it ever since I was a kid, and I still do. And no one's gonna stop me. So anyway, I'm now going to show you. And this is a really easy way to do it. Let's start with basically a squarish oval. And you can change it if you want, and you can make it round. You can make it anything, but here's something that I think might be easy to do. Okay, now, here's a center line. This is the head, here's a center line. And we're gonna make them kind of a cub so we'll have the eyes low on the head. And let's do that. Let's put nice big round eyes right on that center line. So we're gonna make them symmetrical, just as far, one just as far as from the other. We're pretty close to it. That's good, so now this guy's gonna be looking straight ahead. Now, the most important thing on the front view for a bear cartoon is the muzzle. It goes a little above this intersection, a little above. This is, a, this is the bridge of the nose, comes out like that. It has its own little oval right there. And let's erase inside that guy. Now, let's put some eyebrow, some eyes in here to get things going, make him look real. So right now he looks like a construction. Once you start finishing things like eyes and nose and mouth, it starts to take on that feeling of reality. But also I think we should darken in the little eyes that we sketched. And some eyebrows, not too expressive. Because he's just, a, I'm going to make this guy kind of non-expressive, cute, but non-expressive. So let's just have eyebrows, straight eyebrows, a little off the head, long, but little off the head, like that. That's cute. And now have a, a nose close to the eyes, but small. And the reason it's close to the eyes is because his, his face hasn't kind of like grown yet. He's small, so he hasn't kind of widened into an adult. All right. Have a, a little tiny expression. And you know, they have split lips, bears. So this kind of mirrors a, slip, a split lip. Now, let's, let's straighten this out a bit here because we want to add something to the look. I mean, the look is fine, the overall oval, but it's kind of nice sometimes to make it a little more creative. Okay, so we're gonna flatten that out a little bit. We don't want it to come right to a, Z, so a V like this, so we'll add the neck right here. And then you can erase that. Yeah, that's good. Let's have a little fur. Like so. And we'll put those bare ears, which are like little cups on either side. And see, this is the way the cartoonists think about things. They think, well, okay, this one is pointing in that direction. So this one's got to point in that direction because that's how it is on faces, as, as you know. Ear over here, ear over here. Okay, let's straighten this out and put a, oh, why don't we, uh, yeah, put a little scruffle over here. Now let's have him like a little concern. We can put his paw right here, another paw right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I don't know what's going on, but uh, he's a little concerned now. So there you go, there is a very quick way to draw a headshot of a bear, and you can adjust it any way you want. See, I think this is a little far on the side. I do think that, and it's gonna go like this. Always, you can make your little changes anytime you want. That's better, see, I like that better. You can put little eyelashes here. Anything you want, darken it here. You can put a baseball cap on them. It's up to you. Hey, I enjoyed this. I hope these tips were helpful for you. I have new videos every Monday. I hope you will be one of my subscribers. I, I appreciate that. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.